Well, they're finally here, everyone. Electric scooters. You can ride one right now if you'd like. I actually got the chance to check them out today and learn some more about the features to keep you safe. One cut of a ribbon. Hey, Welcome to Albuquerque. <laughs> Electric scooters hit the streets of the Duke City. We've been talking for a long time in Albuquerque about making our city cooler, more accessible. The spin scooters run by the company Zagster are hard to miss. There are 250 currently around Knob Hill, downtown and the International District. The company hopes to roll out 750 by July. We're taking huge steps to lower Albuquerque's carbon footprint. Before you can ride one of these scooters, you have to scan your driver's license to make sure you're at least 18. Helmets are not required but encouraged, so if you want to wear one, you'll have to bring your own, but then you're ready to go. You must obey the same rules as riding a bike while on a scooter, like always using bike lanes when possible, and if you have to ride on the sidewalk, you must stop to let pedestrians pass. And then there is the question, what happens to the scooters at night? Every evening, remove all the scooters so the scooters do not stay out all night long. And if someone tries to take a scooter without paying, it can be remotely locked and an alarm will go off. Theft is something Zagster CEO Dan Grossman says has not been a huge issue in other cities, but they will be working with the police department. It would have such a limited use, it would be something that you could look at but not necessarily use. And Zagster is actually going to be hiring about 40 people locally to help collect the scooters at night and then oversee maintenance at their local warehouse. They go about 15 miles an hour too, pretty fast.